This is the closest science has got to building a human brain. This cross-section, four millimetres wide, shows the layers of the lab-grown organ. The human brain is the most complex and least understood part of the body. The team in Vienna did not create a complete organ like this, but rather tiny fragments. They took skin cells from patients with a brain disorder and then reprogrammed them to form brain cells. Now, that's been done before in a dish, but they went further. The cells were nourished in a spinning bioreactor and began forming 3D structures with layers similar to the cerebral cortex, the most complex tissue in the animal kingdom. The lab brains reached a similar level of development as a nine-week-old fetus, but were not capable of thought. Nonetheless, the research has astounded neuroscientists. I think it's just mind-boggling. The idea that we can take a cell from the skin and then turn it into something that, even though it's only the size of a pea, is starting to look like a brain and starting to show some of the behaviors of, of a tiny brain. I think it's just extraordinary. So how might this research, published in the journal Nature, help medicine? Well, it could increase our understanding of developmental brain disorders like schizophrenia or autism and be a means of testing new drug treatments. Scientists in Edinburgh who co-authored the research stress they're not trying to grow spare parts or replacement brain tissue, but to study disease. The fragments of tissue we're generating are very small, the size of a grain of rice. And what's important here is that we're trying to understand how the cells behave during development, not that we're trying to recreate organs or large fragments of tissue for therapy. Despite its limitations, this research is a significant step towards understanding the extraordinary complexities of the developing human brain. Fergus Walsh, BBC News.